All right, rolling. Inside. My insides are coming out. <laughs> there is no context for that, by the way. <laughs> I'm showing you all my insides. Because that is what voice is, you know, in a way. Yeah. You know? It's the echoes of the inside. It's the echo of the inside. Wow. The reverberations of your inner the soul. The shape of your inside. The shape of your insides. Wow, turn to audio. Yeah. The shape of your insides. Welcome back to the Quarter <laughs> Digital Podcast, everybody. Episode 176. Wow. Wow. We have a very wow. special episode for you today because it's just Cheers. me and the boys. It's just me, yep. Jordan Good Allen, and boys. Matt Cairns. Everyone else yeah. has been there. let go. Everyone else has been let go. This We've is it. taken over. Yep. Um, we went through a forced buyout, and uh, yep. this is now the remainder of Corridor Digital. Oops. It was very so ugly. Left. Very, very ugly. Yeah. Yeah. But it's been um, resolved. It was actually like resolved. more of a blood. It was lots of bloodshed. Yeah, surprising yeah. amounts. Mm -hmm. Literal. Yeah. Chase is strong. He is. Yeah. You know? I had to, it yeah. took two of us to wrangle him. Yep, but he's gone now. Yeah, yep. it took it took th it took all three of us to take down yep. Daniel. Yeah, yeah. Daniel. <laughs> yeah. 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 Surprisingly, you guys don't know, yeah. man. Woof. Yeah. He lifts a lot of gimbals, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you realize. You wouldn't believe how strong his forearms are from it's all those gimbal lifts. Pretty tremendous. <laughs> yeah. Uh wow. So Oh my goodness. A, I think my Oh. I Matt's got Matt's echo learning going how to on. do this. No, no, no. They By the they way, died. we don't cut oh. on anything anymore. So uh, if it's janky, well, just welcome to it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So hey, it's listen. down to two. Jake, <laughs> <laughs> Matt has lost all the. <laughs> all right, I just lost my He's ears. Lost so. Then okay, there were well, two. I was gonna, I was gonna ask him about his hat. Uh, Jake was wondering about your oh, hat. Yeah, I don't know what my hat okay, means so, either. So, so Matt, so Matt, in Hold all on, these videos. <laughs> I know. I'll I'll just preface this for the, for the okay. listener. Okay. Matt in all of these videos wears this hat that says twenty two N J on it. Yeah. And it's I'd like, like a... to know if he even knows what it means. <laughs> it's like it's like a brand. It's some I don't know probably d designer brand. See, is oh, it a NJ. brand? Because well, I got it from I got a, a thrift situation, but you mm. know the thrift in Los Angeles is all like hoity-toity, and it's like more expensive than it should be for no reason. It's like Gucci and so like thrift. I just liked the material of the hat, but like the I don't understand. I don't know what it means. I get it, man. You know, when you find a good hat, I just you stick it's a with nice, it. comfortable hat. Yeah, you know? I like the texture. It of is it. a dangerous game, though. Yeah, you know, you wear a shirt like I used to always wear shirts, and I didn't know what they meant. They just fit. Oh, and like sure. that's my barometer basically for style. Yeah. And even that I'm not really paying attention to anymore either. But, you know, when you're representing something and you don't know what it means, you're in dangerous right. territory. And that could be, be very offensive. Mm. Um, I uh so. I, I did the same thing back in the day. I used to have a a state college hockey shirt or a hockey jersey, mm. which is um Penn Penn State is state college. That's okay. where it is, or it's in Happy Valley, but it's called State College. And so I had a, I had this hockey jersey, and it, and it was a white hockey jersey with a blue chest that just said State College. And I thought that was funny because it was like, so, it seemed so generic. But then I, but then people would come up to me and be like, "Oh, dude, are you from PA?" They know, and yeah, and well, because everybody in PA knows what State College is. Yeah, it's it's Penn State, huh? Um. So yeah, I I uh, you know I was I thought it was like you know it said college on it. Yeah, it's like, like a like a sports house. sports shirt or yeah, something. Right, that's what I thought. Yeah. But anyways, Matt, your your hat, as far as I understand it, I might be way off here. It refers to an airport. Oh, does it? Okay. That's cool. Well, he may be way I off. I can barely hear it. <laughs> you wanna, I'm still Matt trying to take total a minute panic here oh, sorry, and get still situated, Matt, to these Take a minute and get situated. Good Lord, people. I just put them Jordan, on tell your joke. Working tell your joke. Died, tell my joke. And then I, yeah, tell yeah, your joke you that tell you told joke. before this started. Yeah, why don't you be funny, Jordan? Oh, tell my joke? Um, <laughs> tell your joke yeah, your about the doctor. Joke. About the what? The doctor. Oh, the doctor. Well, it's not my... I can't really take credit for this, but it's depressing. So let's get started. Um, a man goes to Help. see the doctor and he yeah, says, man doctor, goes to see the doctor, doctor, right. I'm, I'm suffering from horrible depression. Oh, God, I can't get out of bed. What do I do? And he goes, well, son, the famous comedian, Pavel Anofsky is in town. Go see him. And he goes, but doctor, there's a problem. I am Pavel Anofsky. That's a reminder <laughs> that the people who make you smile 
make him smile back every once in a while. <laughs> and, I'll, and then he turned to the doctor and said, doctor, I can't believe it. Mm. I've broken my arm in several places. And the doctor said, well, then don't go to those places. Wow. Mm. wow. That's good. Wow. Is that original or is that also? No, that's from a meme. Yeah. Yeah. And for those of you who know what my joke was, I, don't, I panicked on the name. I don't know what it is. So I just mm. said Pavel Lebowski or something. <laughs> I, I don't even remember did. what I said anymore. It's Pavel Lebowski. Yeah, it's yeah. Pavel Lebowski. Yeah. Pavel. Yeah. He's, a, he's a great comedian. Though. Check him out. Is that all one word, Pavel Lebowski? Yeah. Sounds yeah. like one yeah. word. It's a one yeah. word name, man. I think it's Spanish. Kind of thing. I can hear you again, by the way, Jake. He's back. Just mm. FYI. So now you can tell me about his hat. want to talk to me more about the history of my hat. Every every airport in America has like a a number like that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And oh, I'm pretty fair. sure your hat just refers to a runway in New Jersey. Okay. How well, cool! I, I am is big that, on huh? aviation, so yeah. It just... That's why I thought you had it because your dad is. Yeah, an yeah, aviator. yeah. Is my stepdad not? is fl flies planes yeah. and owns one. Right. So yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, but no, that's not the reason. <laughs> the truth yeah. is, it was cheap and it fit. Yeah, I'm a big poser, basically. Yeah, I yeah. love it, man. You're in LA, dude. Yeah, no? yeah. Pose it up. Twenty two NJ Airport. Okay. He's gonna get Let's to the bottom see. of this. Okay. Or that's the, the uh that's the Our Lady's Heliport, which is uh out mm -hmm. of uh New Jersey. Maybe that's mm -hmm. literally where this hat's from. Like it's actually at that airport. That's where it they probably sold it. is. Wow. I wanna I wanna trace it back. It now. traveled all the way here. Do a 23 and me on to the land hat. on my head. <laughs> let's trace this thing. Yeah, let's trace this all the way back. <laughs> Unless it's like a brand that's from there or people trying to, you know, there's definitely some inside stuff going on because I yeah. also did a little Googling before this mm. on the 22NJ apparel. Did you? Yeah, and uh, the hat is one of the first things that comes up. Okay, mm. okay. Are there other things, other articles of clothing? <laughs> just asking for a friend. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think maybe I just want to be 22NJ'd out. You, you get know? a full jumpsuit? Just get the full situation sick. happening, you know? Yeah. Anyway, I think the point is, Start kids, the top, work if, my way if down. you're wearing something and you don't know what it means... <laughs> Yeah. Consider well, consider revising. Sometimes I just don't care. Um, yeah. but I also I do have this um uh a jean jacket and it's also a thrifted thing because I like it. Yeah. I like to thrift around here. It's kind of well, fun. Well, that's a nice jean jacket. Yeah, man. but yeah. The, so the the cool thing about that jean jacket, it has this like interesting history where it's like um it's a Marlboro brand jacket. Um mm. and but they Classic. they stop they I think it's it's illegal for uh cigarette companies to sell merchandise now. Like they've made it. Yeah, they, they, they banned. They, they used to have the Marlboro points or whatever back in the nineties. Yeah, 90s, yeah. And you could get all the the swag. And right. So you could the Marlboro you would, jacket was the big swag. Right. You were incentivized time. to buy cigarettes so that you could earn right. enough points. To Feels weird that that's illegal. Get lung cancer. Yeah, yeah. like I get that part of it, but I don't know. Yeah. As a as an adult, like I think you have the right to. Yeah. Earn your Marlboro bucks I and guess, spend them yeah. on what you'd like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Am sure. I crazy? Just imagine that the general <laughs> expectation is very low and yeah. that's what we're working with. Mm. For sure. Yeah. They're like, I don't know, guys. People might buy more cigarettes if you give away that jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. That, uh, I don't know about that one. Mm. Yep. Will cigarettes ever be go. extinct in this country, you think? <laughs> I don't know. Will they ever, <laughs> will they will they ever stop extinct. reproducing Breed and of... die off? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, no. No. Hmm. I mean, as long as people never. are growing to, as long as people are growing and drying tobacco, there will always be some tobacco to smoke. Mm. They just kind of evolve over time, you know. The dinosaurs died yeah, off, but yeah. we still got, you know, birds and another twenty-three and me in the works for uh, <laughs> yeah. Marlboro cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I mean, I think we, it's we, well we established at this point that they're terrible for you. So if yeah. there's any question about that, I don't, I don't know what to say to that. It person, does not but. stop me from buying Captain Crunch. Let me tell you. Yeah. Hey. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't you know why. Stop you from eating Play Doh. Better, hey, better not a joke, by the way. Yeah. Any Play Doh around? Occasionally, by the way? nibble on that. No, still. Yeah. Let's also limit the size of soft <laughs> drinks that people can buy. Yeah, man, the Super Size Me movie ruined everything. <laughs> yeah, didn't it? Come on, yeah. man. <laughs> That was like Ruined the great the treat. You can't supersize you, you can't supersize, supersize that? anymore after that yeah. movie. You can't supersize. Goodness yeah. gracious me. You know? get supersize, Devastating. You can't supersize. You can't for even 39 supersize cents, anymore. You, for 39 cents, you used to be able to supersize. Yeah, yeah. but TLC can run it. the 19th season of my 600-pound life. <laughs> can it? That can monetize. But God forbid right. the, the Ronald makes a right. little side, side yeah. hustle out of it. I want to be able to swim in my Coca-Cola. <laughs> 
Goodness gracious. God forbid Ronald has a, a quote side hustle. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Grimace is starving to death. Yeah. We've got to feed the boy. I'm sorry. I'm passionate about this. <laughs> Super Size was right. so fun. Anyway, did you know was. that they had they had to like they, they make uh extended cup holders for your cars for the big boys? <laughs> Do they? Like they they've had them. They had them before. Like uh, with the big big cups. Like you need man. to like get the extenders. Gosh, like just the to Chevy's, hold all the that. Chevy Suburban Big Mac edition. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I like to think like, we'll uh, make our way back to it. Yeah. We'll get back. I hope so. We'll we'll find our way. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, there's a lot of projects going on, and I think. Yeah. I think people deserve uh, mm. a, a, an answer. They deserve an answer. <laughs> Put it that way. People are asking they, they questions. Deserve, and people we got, deserve answers. Um, as you can see, we got foremost, answers. What what uh, what happened with the with the animorphs? What? Uh, <laughs> yeah, what happened I mean, there? I feel like we followed through on it pretty faithfully. You know, oh, yeah, you paid it's, off. Uh, pretty yeah. much exactly what we were hoping for. Yeah, uh, and you know, the people clearly love it. Love it. Love you it. know. Big fans. It's a shame the video didn't get more views. I mean, people who watched it really, really enjoyed it. There's a lot of really positive comments in there. We we saw in the analytics that it just wasn't getting served to people. Yeah, um, you know, as consistently as the other videos. It's just like, yeah, it's not. Seemed like the click through rate was good, and everyone liked the video a lot. And that's that's the fun thing about the analytics too is. you know, I saw that the the actual watch duration was higher than any of the other videos on the list yeah. that were viewable. Yeah. yeah. So clearly, there's like uh, an appeal for this kind of weird stuff, which just thrills me. Oh, I mean, great. Eric Andre's entering its sixth season. There's an appetite. Yeah. There's an we appetite know this. for it. Yeah. Uh, and that makes me happy. But yeah, the algorithm. I don't know. I've been wondering this, Jake. What the heck changed in the algorithm? Something changed because <clears throat> it's just not feeding uh, uh, in the same way mm-hmm. that it was before. No, I think it's just honestly, it's just shelf life of like certain ideas and stuff. Like this is totally normal for everything. Um, like you have ebbs and flows, mm. and you know things like you have certain audience and certain that that are watching certain videos, and they come and go. And I mean, think about your own experiences on YouTube. You know, are they consistent with the idea of like? finding a channel, being really into that channel and then moving on from that channel or moving, finding another channel. And fun fact, I've, I've only ever watched one YouTube video and I just watched that one. It's great. <laughs> yeah. This is the, this is the <laughs> I one, just go again. This is the one. You just yeah, man. You're going to beat it. So yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's, yeah, I just, anything with just, new that's just consi- consistent with like, uh, you know, when you break it down into these industrialized terms, but like that's consistent with consumption habits mm-hmm. of entertainment content. Um, mm. you know, and so, yeah, yeah. Are they are they transparent with algorithm changes when they make them? Do they announce them, uh, or do they just kind of tweak, no, keep tweaking they the? They don't, unless it's something that is uh like a new feature. Typically, mm-hmm. they don't, or a feature that like they're really trying to be forthright about. They don't really, and and most of the time, you got to also remember it like this, like. There's the YouTube uh, product team is like the the guys who are responsible for the actual product of YouTube mm-hmm. as a you know a thing to the world, and um, so you know when they make a little adjustment on say how influential tags are or what constitutes a satisfied viewer so that the video that they just watched should be served to more viewers. You know, these are like, they, they might make one tweak. You're talking about a platform that does what, uh, how many hours a, a minute now? Mm-hmm. Oh, of, I dread to think of, of, yeah. of content. I mean, it keeps kind of curious though. How many yeah, right? hours? How many hours are we pumping? <clears throat> into every this minute. website Let's break my brain every day yeah because so we can do some every day 271 000 hours of video content Ooh. are uploaded uh every day oh my god how, say again 270 3.7 million new videos uh, per day and christian 270 000 hours Oh my More God. than That's 500 nuts. hours every minute. That's just on the one website, though, you know? You couldn't. Right. So, oh, my gosh. <clears throat> it's too much. So It's so much. It, Where are they yeah, housing I mean, this? it's 
in the in servers. Good lord, <laughs> server. Yeah, I want to go there. Castles. Yeah, <laughs> let's <just> say it. <laughs> What on earth? They've gone back. To so you know like they, the they have they have a huge job to do. They have to figure out okay, where did this video come from? Mm. Where is it being seen? Because you know they're not going to store like videos that are primarily consumed in say India over here mm. because that would just create a bunch of CDN like bandwidth costs that are totally unnecessary and costly for them to serve it all the way on the other side of the world. So you know they have to figure out okay, for example, our um, primitive technology videos mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those videos the predominant viewership comes from india cambodia vietnam and southeast asia um now when we uploaded those videos we uploaded them from los angeles those videos who knows they might you know they might still be stored internally on their servers over here but you know you also think hey maybe it's more likely that they move it mm to somewhere else where it's more local to the place where it's being consumed. It, it That's just a, an example. That might not be exactly the way that it's done, but imagine a hundred thousand of those decisions having to be thought about and decided on like every day by, yeah. a, you know, a huge team of people. And so, um, yeah, that just has an overall effect of like little things can sometimes have significant impacts on, different channels, but I don't think that's necessarily the situation with us. And, you know, we've seen a little bit of a decline in viewership lately. And I think most of that honestly is just related to the shelf life of the react show. Mm, I think that's interesting. This is pr oh, okay. predominantly the, the main driving force of it. The pre react show is still, you know, super popular. It still performs incredibly well, but compared to where it was two and Three years ago, it's it's not doing those kind of numbers, mm -hmm. um, and that's everything from total viewership to also new viewership. Mm -hmm. And new viewership is another big factor that has always been important on the platform, but is is still just as important as it's ever been. Yeah, and that's the amount of new people that your videos. You know, when you have this library of videos out there, how many people do they catch that are new and that come into become a fan or a viewer of your channel well because right. the viewership on the react show is like tremendously high percentage wise of people who are already viewers right um yeah about 75 percent oh wow or so i mean i can pull up the the real the exact numbers yeah let's talk numbers let's talk jake numbers man we're numbers guys. the kids jake, want do you these think days. people care about this i don't know if they do we don't talk philosophy talk we we talk statistics we talk statistics <clears throat> i want to see graphs i want to see charts <laughs> different colors i don't want to see, see them i want to hear them on a podcast yeah that's, that's, the, that's what i'm really looking for five days <laughs> those numbers and figures <laughs> explained <laughs> yes. in detail compared um, to react all anyway. <laughs> Your age, yeah. Now that I'm traffic, source. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's now good that I'm stuff. hearing it, yeah, you know, it's good stuff. It kind of makes my eyes glaze over <laughs> a little bit. You guys lie. aren't interested in this. I no, am, no, no. yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm like, we are no, very interested, interested in this, this. Jake. <laughs> Jake, <laughs> we love it. My favorite part of statistics is the long pauses between numbers. Personally, hey, yeah, it's like a Zen. Definitely. It's like a Zen period. Absolutely, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, this yeah. is the equivalent of like the YouTube commercials Wait. on YouTube yeah, TV, yeah, where it's yeah. like, yeah. take a moment of Zen. Yeah. And it's like just a hummingbird. <laughs> I would say suspense personally, because I can't wait to hear the numbers. <laughs> you want to hear the numbers, baby? Hit us with the numbers, Jake. Hit us with the numbers, Hit us with the numbers baby. All right. Hold so my beer. new viewership versus. Golly, it keeps doing this thing. More suspense. Oh boy, I'm here for More it, man. Suspense. I'm here for the buildup. Just makes that sweet release even better, you know? I mean, what is it like? Uh, yeah, it's about a quarter. Oh, a quarter yes. of viewers, viewers are new viewers. A quarter. Which isn't bad. It. That's I it. I mean, because also, like, once somebody <laughs> comes in for the first time and then returns to watch one of your videos within 30 days, they're considered a returning viewer. Hmm. Okay. Wow. So, interesting. You know, it's, yeah. Well, thank you to but all anyway. the new and returning viewers. Yes, hello. You know? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Uh, you're probably oh. not watching this podcast because... <laughs> who knows maybe maybe we'll have to look um, at the numbers you never know well <laughs> anyway we the numbers on the podcast uh jordan i want to move on to another topic yeah talk to me talk to me mm. 
Do you have any, um, uh, I guess, explaining that you feel like you need to do um, regarding <laughs> you know I do. Uh, slightly offensive bowling alley animations? Oh, this. See? Oh, you I don't to, know. Do you always have to explain yourself on well, this? Well, here's the thing, Matt. I'm curious. You've seen it, obviously. Yeah. Is it out on YouTube yet? It, it would be by the time this releases, but... Y yes, yeah, yeah. It'll be out. Yeah. Did I mean, this one offend? I mean, did it? I don't think so. No. I think I you mean, nailed it. Yeah, you think I, I, think, nailed I think it's it. a good perfect. I balance. think you oh. nailed it. Like, because again, it's about it's about that line. You gotta you gotta ride it, and you it's a dangerous right game. Up to it, it's and a it's dangerous scary, game. Jake. Mm -hmm. It's a scary line, and I I think you nailed it, man. Thank I you, mean, brother. It's it's like, yeah, it was. Uh, <sighs> it's chef's a, it's kiss, a it's a terrifying place to be. Let me tell you, every single time that we have done those bowling animation reviews with everybody, no one has seen my animation. And I always have this fat knot in my stomach. Yeah. Because I'm like, is this the end? I'm sure it could is be. Is this the final, <laughs> Every the final time. countdown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> the response warmed my heart beyond what I could say. Great. That's Because, you, yeah. you know, you put yourself in a box. And again, it's like this, this idea of desensitization. Like genuinely, the first, you know, animation that I did, I was alone for three days. I made it bad. And then I got used to it. So I made it worse. Mm. And that was just the first day. Mm -hmm. So the next right. two days were just yeah, yeah. continuing to make it worse. Mm -hmm. And then when I finally right. showed Dean, I think Dean was the first one to saw to see it. His response horrified me because he's like, you can't, you can't. <laughs> and you, that was the first time I woke up and yeah. saw it with new eyes and thought, oh, you, no, I can't. Really but can't. I, it, it's too late. Yeah. So here you we are. You've done the whole thing. seconds of, yeah. of really just primal domestic abuse. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a situation <clears throat> now where with this new one, it's, you know, I feel like I've, I've honed in on. Uh -huh. the line and yeah. i feel like the twist ending with the turkey kind oh, of yeah. brought it home it wasn't just like it's good mass it death it, it was yeah it was right. a lead up to a, a slight twist that's that I why felt. that's why it's funny because you're contextualizing it within a bowling term. yeah yeah it's right. not just so, it being bowling pins and bowling balls that makes it anyway if funny, you haven't so. seen slightly offensive bowling alley animations yet we highly recommend mm. you do know, yourself a favor you, you, Make it happen. Do yourself a favor. Yeah. There's three I, of them now. Because, yeah, there's three of them. And you know the funny thing about all three of them is I've been wanting to do, participate in these bowling <laughs> yes. alley animations, and I have not because of Punch for Punch. Yes. Every single time. <laughs> it has always sucked and, you up. And, and just... once again, there's a new punch. These bastards over at Netflix <laughs> <laughs> are like, you gotta give us more. You yeah. gotta give us more. We need um, more. So that's what I've been doing. And that's actually also why I haven't been, you know, I've like, we because the last few videos, like, I, I've been in them with you yeah and but i haven't like actually participated it's right. like the feigned participation yeah. of this because i've just been on camera and not like actually like helped like in, in the trenches yeah. for the most part well, look yeah. i mean the, the that. punch for punch episode six yeah which is about extraction to the movie is live currently oh yeah it would be yeah. yeah and uh the movie's also out yeah so that one um, brother Woo. Yeah, yeah, the the movie has an insane oneer. The the movie is great in itself, but the, the there's a there's is... a oneer that is like twenty two something minutes long, and mm -hmm. it's actually yeah. incredible. You know, like yeah. it's not it's not like just a oneer for the sake of having a yeah. oneer. It's like actually insane that it goes this long and and goes all these different directions. Well, that's the funny thing too is Extraction One had a sick oneer, yeah. and then they yeah. just came back and they're like, oh. We could top that. Dude, easy, easy, think, easy top. Because every time I kept being amazed, Matt was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, wait, not yet. I'll wait for this part. Yeah, yeah, we're just getting started. Yeah, so recommend that. Audiences are, check are kind of becoming desensitized to just what is capable in a movie now. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the possibilities like, do seem endless. Like, imagine if you released Avengers Endgame or Extraction 2 or, you know, some of these like, feats of cinematic achievement mm -hmm. in terms of the the craft and the professionalism that's being applied mm -hmm. yeah. like you might not like the story okay whatever but like i'm talking about operating at the highest levels of taking all the tools that you have available and putting them into the same spot at the same time to create something that people truly haven't seen before mm. i feel like audiences are, don't even know that's happening well i mean what when I we mean, first not, obviously like people do but like in general yeah you know yeah overall well when i first saw yeah. avatar like the first avatar i was working in the movie theater i managed to like sneak in and watch a whole viewing of it 
And for all me, three hours, all three hours. You were not of it. working for all. I of the... wasn't working. <laughs> I lost that job very, very quickly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. honestly, the guy, were you the guy who was supposed to take the ticket and rip it in half and put it? Yeah, in the thing? I did. Th- I'm not joking. There's a there's a theater where I used to work, and I could tell, dude, I could talk about this theater all day long. Sure, you can. But I used to whatever job you got in your shift start is the they wouldn't rotate. It's the only thing you did for eight solid hours. Oh, and so if you ended up on the door, you were working yeah. the door for eight hours straight. And there was one manager in particular was the bane of my existence uh, who would enforce on a Tuesday morning when there was nobody in the stu- in the studio, in the theater, mm-hmm. uh, that you have to stand outside the door, not mm-hmm. inside the door, not outside. on a stool, mm-hmm. stand mm-hmm. outside. Even when it's raining. OK, so Tuesday morning comes along, it's raining outside and I have to stand outside in the pouring rain. That's insane. Uh, for, to take a ticket from nobody. From zero people. Because if I, well, here's the like reality. Buckingham if I was Palace. three inches further back, everyone would be running by. Yeah. There'd be no chance for me to stop them. For sure. Three yeah. inches forward, though, I could mm-hmm. play 100% defense. Exactly. It's right. like, what? Yeah. No, <laughs> there's no sense. reason. Yeah. So, yeah. man, anyway, I saw it in that theater. So at least there's one good memory. And uh, at the end of the movie, I was just absolutely in awe. I was like, I can't believe this was feasible. I can't believe this was achieved. And I turn around to like take it in mm-hmm. and everyone's already gone. <laughs> and I realized at that moment, I'm like, oh, they're just moving on to the next thing. Yeah, it's the next yeah. one. Because <laughs> yeah. once the credits roll, it's like, wow. Right. Okay. okay. What do you want for dinner? Yeah, and yeah. just people move on. So <laughs> Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a real humbling thing. <laughs> it's just a way to distract uh, yourself for three hours. Pretty much. Get, well, you know? That is yourself, truly you know? the quandary of, of like traditional movie making. And, and, and that's the thing is like you make it and then people go, hey, good job. Yeah. Nice. And then, and that's it. Next. Nice. Well, that's Jake. <laughs> that's next? honestly why genuinely in any creative endeavor, you don't do it for the end result. You don't do it for the praise. You don't do it for the, it, you do it to do it. You do it for the pleasure of right. doing it for creating. That's yeah. how you maintain longevity in any creative field. If you're satisfied by the process, the process will always be there for you to be satisfied by. Mm-hmm. But the praise disappears in a second. And if you don't yeah. get the praise you want or God forbid expected, then the entire thing was a devastating experience. And so, mm-hmm. yeah, for me, it's like, well, the stuff we put out here, I, I don't even like the, the response is not what is keeping me going. It's like, yeah. you know, making the Animorphs, like what a treat, you know, yeah, making this Hulk, you know, that yeah. rips out of his underwear. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, well, what a, I will what say a joy. When, when, we, what was that? when we make something <laughs> and it is, and it is like, you know, well-received, that does help. Yeah. It does oh, help. Oh, I'm not saying it doesn't want, feel want good. Yeah. Oh, it still but I guess feels it's just real, not real good. It's, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. the act of creating is really the driver. It's like, mm-hmm. that's, right. that's what brings me peace personally. Yeah. Right. You know? Yeah, no, I feel that. I Do feel it for that. you and like the yeah. rest is, is gravy. Yeah. And it's, I feel like the more fun you have making something, the better the results are anyway. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I always strive for that. Yeah. That makes sense. So, so was your least favorite job at the movie theater standing out front in the rain or was there one that was even worse than that? It was to be, to be totally honest. When I first started working, I I told my mom she's like, "You should do like videography, or you should do something where you use your brain." Her exact words, and I said, "Use your brain." I said, "Mom, I don't want to." I mm. said, "I use my brain all the time. <laughs> I want to turn it off and just go to work and just make money." Yeah, I genuinely felt that way. And the minute that I was in an environment where I had to turn my brain off, mm-hmm. I was like, I was so oh, uncomfortable and devastated. Yeah, I was trying to find like optimal ways to change the system a little bit like maybe we could do this maybe we could do that and it was always met with reprimand Mm -hmm. and like punishment uh you're laughing too much Mm. like it literally is a critique that i got and it just felt like it was stifling every part of me that that wanted to be creative and it ended up with me just just quitting i I just couldn't i couldn't bother with it anymore i couldn't handle it anymore and uh you know the day i quit i still had all my tickets uh that you can go see free movies when you work in a movie Mm -hmm. theater and uh the, the day that I started working there, they informed me that someone had stolen from the movie theater. And so all benefits were re- removed from everybody, including me, who clearly didn't do it. I yeah. just showed up. Yeah. But for the entire duration of me working there, I didn't have benefits. We got them in the last month when I, the day I announced that I was going to quit mm-hmm. after two weeks. Naturally. So I saved my movie ticket. After two and weeks. <laughs> at the end of my last uh, session, um, the manager, I don't remember his name now, but I, you know, we were on first name basis with everybody. I, I walked out and I said goodbye to everybody. I said, thank you so much. I'm, you know, see you later. I walk out and then I walk to the front and I ask for a ticket to, I think it was Ninja Assassin or something back then. <laughs> and I was like, I'd like to see Ninja Assassin. 
And the manager who I just walked out, again, first name basis, goes, <laughs> hello, sir. How may I help you? Program. And I'm like, Mike. Just Mike. Mike, what are you talking about? He's like, uh, I just want to use my ticket. And he goes, oh, I'm sorry. Tickets are only for employees. And I'm like, we're doing this. <laughs> and I just walk right by the ticket guy because he's my friend. And I yeah. just walk by. I'm like, I'm watching Ninja Assassin. I've been waiting all week. So I just go in and I, I watch it and I walk out. But God. it's like that kind of environment where it's like, you know, I, I remember telling them that I was going to go pursue videography. And it was met with a scoff. It was met mm. with like, a, oh, well, good luck. Yeah. Good and it luck. wasn't, you know, it wasn't warm, encouraging. It wasn't creative. And yeah, I think that for me was such a brutal wake up to pursuing what you love, no matter what. Yeah. Uh, and I'm really glad I, I have that in my back pocket because that scared me into working real hard for a real long time. Mm -hmm. And it pays benefits. Like if you keep going day in, day out, you'll develop a skill set that you can use to free yourself from that kind of stuff. And yeah, yeah I'm really glad I have that as, as horrible as it was at the time. It's like. Yeah, I look back on it fondly because it definitely served a purpose for you me. You know, hard work doesn't feel as hard when you actually enjoy it. Too. Yeah, it's you very know, true. When you actually like very, it very and you're never bored of it, then yeah, that hard work gets a lot easier. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there is something to be said for like just having some work experiences where you just have to grind. Yeah. Um, even if you don't like it, um, mm -hmm. especially when yeah, you're young. Definitely. I, I think there's, there's an expectation a lot of times where people think, oh, well, I you know, I want to do this or I got a degree in this. And so I should be able to do this. And it's just not how it works really. You know, it, like you have to, you have to grind to figure out <clears throat> what, what is actually worth grinding for. Mm -hmm. Very true. Um, yeah. and at least that was my experience. Um, and you know, I'm glad I did it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to go back. I'd do it if I had to. Mm -hmm. Of course, but um, yeah, I remember, uh, I mean, like before Corridor, just, you know, doing a bunch of like odd jobs and just grinding to just get a paycheck mm -hmm. just so I could feed myself. Yeah. Um, yeah, those are good memories yeah. to have, yep. you know? Yeah. And it's, uh, youth is also great for finding your limit, you know? Like when I was yeah. a younger VFX artist, I would just, and I was freelance the whole time, so I would just not turn off. I would just go and go and go. And there was one period of time where my house was under construction. Like my, my family's house who I was living with was totally under construction. The whole thing flooded. The whole house is closed off. Only the garage is open. And I have my little computer in the corner of a garage with a couch in the back. They're not even living there. Uh, I'm supposed to be living in Pasadena, but I'm still living at the house because I'm working. And I started to keep an hour log for this particular set of jobs that I took on at flat rate. Mind you, I was an hourly devastating decision uh but again lesson learned and uh, i was keeping an hour log and for 30 days straight no days off i averaged 17 and a half hours in front of the computer a day Ooh. oh my god i would work for 17 and a half hours and i would sleep on the couch and i would play three games of rocket league and then i'd start work again and i did that for 30 <laughs> days and my mental health just went Pew! yeah like it's, it's never yeah. done before Jacked up. Yeah, yeah and i found myself in a really weird spot and yeah, I, I managed to to get out of it at the end of the day. Like, Did you get really good but at But you would have never league, learned that. Yeah, I'm really good <laughs> yeah, at rocket really league. Yeah. At it, yeah. And really good at crying. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah well, power th combo. Together, maybe, yeah. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you would have never, you do, you would have never known that limit about yourself had yeah. you not had experienced that. Yeah, so when I was feeling a little worn out. Time, but yeah, I, I always have the memory yeah. of like how far I could, now, it wasn't healthy and it wasn't a smart idea, yeah. but I know where I can take it if I need to. Like, I, I've been there. Uh, yeah. and that I couldn't do that now. I'm really glad I did it when I was young. Cause yeah. I always had that, that frame of reference. That's true. Like, yeah. Well, you also know that you shouldn't do that. No, you know, you, you yeah, there, there's Terrible. no reason to have to do that. Yeah. You know, there, there should it's be somewhat least. acceptable when you're like a 20 to 25 year old yeah. and you know, yeah. and it's like, okay, that's, he's just, you know, he's doing his thing. Yeah, oh, certainly. Yeah. You've done it. 10 hey, years, 20 years it. after it. It's it's uh you know people yeah. who love you should should talk to you yeah, <laughs> yeah. i mean in the in yeah. the visual effects world too you hear all the horror stories of overtime and it's it's like at the end of the day if i had done that but i went to my bank account and i went look at this that'd mm -hmm. be one thing mm -hmm. but i made i think i made a dollar an hour <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> it was flat rate yeah. it was like i would have been so much better yeah. anywhere else yeah not uh, worth it. but you know lessons learned it's yeah all good. well we all do those jobs that aren't worth uh, it exactly you know? yeah it's exactly uh -huh. yeah because uh, I've never done, I didn't have the movie, like the grind job that was because mm -hmm. I was always a filmmaker, but I definitely had some really like bad job. I've talked about it oh, on the podcast. Matt's, Matt's oh, talked about the, the, the diddler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's like working yourself real there's, hard and then getting diddled. Like, a, yeah. You know, it's uh, apples and oranges. <laughs> 
I'll, I'll do yeah. a few months of the movie theater. Yeah. So, you know, those experiences, <laughs> even if it is <laughs> just in the film world, it is still, you can still get some yeah. really crap jobs, you know, and stuff that like really uh, helps the whole experience. I do. Um, I do kind of wish grow. that your experience happened on the roof. Right. Just for the diddler on the roof. Oh, like, diddler on the roof. They would have been so great. <laughs> oh, you know, silver lining situation. God. But that didn't happen. So really, yeah, there's it no. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't. It would really, be a very yeah. specific situation. Yeah. if More of a bronze lining. On the you roof got for that. On. Yeah. yeah. For, for those of you who, who are <laughs> unaware, I'll give a very top level summary. Yeah. Matt had the unfortunate oh, experience <laughs> of having to work for a woman who was basically attempting to pass make passes on you sexual yes. passes on you yeah. and was tr basically trying to withhold money and yeah. work and things of that nature that's correct should yes. you not uh heed her advances that's um, right yeah and she was so, like a middle-aged yeah. you know woman yeah. you know yeah uh, um which in in under no circumstances is acceptable it's not none yeah by the way yeah 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 she has a very firm handshake and Matt has never shaken her hands. <laughs> you have experience with testicles. I did, yeah, uh, quite a, quite a, a bit. pretty recently, speaking of... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. various types, yeah. yeah no, you really gotten in there, haven't there's, you? Yeah, there's you a video. You could consider yourself a groper, there's maybe, a in some way. I am not, I'm not using my 3D model to do anything to that 3D model. Okay. I'll have you know. No, right. I am, I am hands-off here. Whatever you say. Yeah. Uh, no, we're, we're working on a video right now where we're basically testing the tensile strength of uh, various types of underwear to test if the Hulk really could find anything on the market that could contain his expansion. Look, uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. We've all we've all seen the Hulk. Yep. He hulks out. He hulks out. He hulks out. And what is he still wearing? His pants. His pants. Preposterous. It is How? absolutely preposterous. Yeah. So what are these things made out of? This is what this yeah. video is about. Exactly. So we're, we're testing the things that are readily available on the market. We know with MCU Hulk, at least, at the very minimum, that he is getting his stuff from stores. Mm -hmm. We know that he has nothing specially made. So we're testing the expansion from a Ruffalo to what we're calling a Buffalo, the expansion from Ruffalo to Hulk, <laughs> okay? Ruffalo uh, to Buffalo. And, <laughs> and we're seeing if anything could handle that kind of expansion, again, uh -huh. that, is, that is available in the market. And we're doing that in yeah. a couple of ways. You know, we're doing some real-world tests, uh, finding out how far those stretch taking that into Houdini and emulating how far they stretch before they tear and then throwing them on a model that expands. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's really groundbreaking work. Yeah. And we so expect did you, to, to receive awards. Did you awards. do your first tests of material yet? Oh, we had tremendous success. <laughs> Jake. Yeah. We had tremendous success. Yep. Phase one of our testing was an absolute failure. Mm. Uh, we built a little jack system with fake Hulk thighs. Thought that would be very yep. fun yep. and exciting. And it ended up being a total dud. Uh, but we evolved. Yeah, evolved the, the scientists. The thunder was more of a blunder. You know? <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, yeah, that's good. Blunder uh, thighs. That's bl really blunder good. thighs. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So the jack didn't work. It didn't go far enough out, which is the issue. Yeah. So we needed somebody that could really stretch those things and pull. Yeah. To uh, completion. Yeah. <clears throat> also, how did you measure that while you were stretching it? A genius idea, really. Honestly, was it Daniel's idea? It was Daniel's idea. Okay. That's why it's a genius idea. It's a genius I idea. Have said that. <laughs> well, I don't think I've ever had sure one of those. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, no, but Daniel came up with a great idea where he's like, hey, why don't we lay a measuring tape out in a plate, fly it out, then do the test in the exact same spot, mm -hmm. and then we overlay the two, and then we have the distance. So Boom. we know the measuring tape is exactly four feet. We can, you know, if we can't see the numbers, which I think we can based on the lens, I'm not sure. But even if we can't, we can estimate based on that four foot length and find the exact mm. length where these things tear. Because again, just tearing something like vertically, just across from each other, is very different than a radial expansion. Mm -hmm. And the radial expansion is what we're going to be doing in Houdini, mm -hmm. using the numbers that we get from essentially the linear expansion rip mm -hmm. of the underpants in real life. So it's real meets, uh, meets CGI science meets experiment. Sci yeah, it's exactly. Science. Just to get to the bottom of this, you know? It's real so science. Did you, need to know. did you end up getting like some of those Kevlar motorcycle pants? or We got where denim. Are you at? You got denim. <laughs> we got denim for them never nudes out there. You know who you are. Never nude. Yep. Mm. Denim chickens of the world. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, I mean, we Hulk, tested. Hulk does end up in denim sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. He looks great in denim. So we, we got denim, we got uh, cotton and we got, um, what is it? Uh, spandex. Spandex. Thank spandex, you. Yeah. Spandex. spandex. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Yeah. We're, we're running through the, through all of it. Yeah, I'm I'm proud of what I'm seeing behind Honestly, my back. Whenever I turn around, I see uh, it a is, lot. It's a, a lot. it's a very difficult situation I'm in, yep. Jake, because you know, 
the reality is if we're going to take the science seriously, we need to be anatomically correct. Mm -hmm. Right. And, you know, Naturally. that falls on me. That yeah. falls on me. And that means that I've, you know, had a screen full of all sorts of things for yeah. a few days now. It's, and it's pretty detailed. I forget it's even any, on the do screen. Do you have any wacky ideas that we should probably work the kinks out before you actually go forward with them? Uh, in what respect? To you know, just anatomy? Like wacky, wacky Jordan ideas about anatomically correct Hulk that maybe we should just nix oh, before you know, oh, yeah, before see, you go is, too far. Yeah. yeah. It'll you know, be blurred, that's for sure. It'll so, most certainly be blurred. And he spent way too much time on something that will certainly never be seen. Yeah. So well, that's, you know, common trend for you. For me, I know a, it's there. Yeah. And I think that's enough uh, okay. to make the science make sense, you <laughs> yeah. know? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's about cool, doing cool, the dirty work. America's dirty jobs, you know? It's right. a dirty job. Someone's got to do it. Somebody's got to do Micro, it. Micro, get Someone's over here. Someone's got to do it. Someone's There's no Hulk it. model that is anatomically correct. So last time we made, <laughs> <laughs> we made the most, the highest fidelity uh, Steven Seagal model yeah. on the market. And now we have the most anatomically correct Hulk on the market. That's correct. The, the corridor asset collection is growing rapidly. It is growing. With the most valuable mm -hmm. assets on yep. the market. And maybe one day we'll make a corridor action pack. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Depends. Of, maybe. of just scientifically Oops. fiction accurate anatomically Assets. correct action figures right yeah action figures. yes that's what it'll be we get yeah. the human animal hybrids in there too that would yeah be fun. Oh, we were talking about doing the uh the animorphs uh transformations as like a corridor kind of farm pack <laughs> you can get all your farm animals farm. you know what i mean yeah, yeah a little yeah. corridor yeah. Animals. corridor collection yeah we've got a koala um, now we've got yeah. a shrimp we've got, got horses. a horse yep um manatees. 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 manatees are great farm animals Turtle, manatee yeah. orangutan the cows I don't of the think sea. manatees are great farm animals. Cows of the sea. Honestly, they're pretty good. You tie a bucket of water to their snout and they'll, they'll live for a couple weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trust me. I have a question about cows. <laughs> of the manatees <laughs> of the sea. Completely unrelated. Or... You're, you're a cow man. Would you consider I'm yourself a cow, a cow man? I, 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 I wouldn't. A, a cattleman? <laughs> you have a couple of heifers. I'd, I have a couple of head of cow, but I don't know if I'd consider myself a cow. The fact that you said of, head of cow head, means you're see, a cattle. He definitely was a cow guy. <laughs> we're calling him heifers He's over here. He's clearly a cow guy if he calls him we're calling, him, you, we're calling him butter yeah, udders over yeah. here. <laughs> butter udders. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Cream bags. <laughs> uh, my question is this. Okay. Okay. Shoot. We ride horses. We ride donkeys. Yeah. Why don't we, we ride, ride cows? cows. That's Why did the cows never become <clears throat> rideable? Are they too are they not smart enough? Do they have weak spines? Do they yeah. Do they not submit to human Well, there's <laughs> not, a there's a short and a long answer to your question. Okay. What's the short one? <laughs> the short What's answer the entire is entire podcast length. <laughs> the short answer is that that's not true. People do ride cows. Really? I know people they ride bulls. Not not for not for practical purposes really, but uh, people like have People have ridden cows. There's there's pictures of, you know, cowboys with saddles on cows, cowboys. sitting on cows. Well, is that where? No, cowboys because they ride horses and they herd they wrangle cow. Yeah, oh. it's that's not why they're called, called cowboys because cow they really started excited. riding yeah, cows. Sorry. I'm a man, man. I don't know. What's going. Then of course, <laughs> but then of course, people do obviously ride bulls. Not for very long, you know, eight right. seconds is yeah, right. Yeah, we we all know about the bull riding, but I mean more for yeah, riding. like riding, like for getting like from working, one point A to point purposes. B. The travel, yeah, pra you know? practical purposes. Well, the, Cow drawn the, the cart. second answer is <clears throat> well. So I was thinking about this the other day. You know the phrase, "Man is a uh, dog is a man's best friend." Uh huh. Well, that that I I've, I've really come to be more understanding of why this phrase is the more animals that i've gotten hmm. because animals can be extremely difficult to work with it's true especially when you're trying to produce them or farm them or do something that's beyond just like keeping them as a pet um and so a dog is like one of the most reliable animals on a farm you can trust it you can pet it it listens to commands it, you can do things with it, like work work cow or work other animals with it, herd sheep, all these kinds of things. I mean, it's truly like having another hand. Mm. There's a phrase in ranching, like uh, if you have a friendly horse or a friendly dog or even a friendly cow, you might say, oh yeah, she's a hand. 
as in uh, that that thing is as 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 good as another person with hands out there doing the work. Interesting. Okay. Or with hand, really. Okay. Yeah. With there's also hand. another yeah. phrase that one one good dog on the ground is worth three in the saddle. Which one is like, dog on the ground or three in the saddle. <laughs> like three dogs a riding a, a ca- no, like, like a horse. Yeah, that'd be pretty one useless. Good dog on the ground. <laughs> I don't know how they would. I'd say five it. on a saddle. Yeah, probably. five at least. Yeah, yeah. One good really dog on the ground is worth is coat. worth three bad men in the saddle. <laughs> oh, bad men. Oh. Okay. Yeah, oh. Like if oh three bad it's, men. It's, it's yeah. more valuable to have a good dog than three bad ranchers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes way more sense. Okay. Yeah. Totally. Totally. So so anyway, why wouldn't you ride a cow? The basic question. Yeah. Well, first of all, <clears throat> a cow specifically is a calf producing head of cattle mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that that is specifically their purpose is to breed more calves so that mm-hmm. you have more meat product. Right. Um, and so first of all, you'd be stressing the animal quite a bit. Indeed. You'd be ride, riding it around all the time. <laughs> yeah. You could, you can get them docile enough to ride. Um so that'd be the main reason. But then the second reason is like, well, cows aren't bred to move, you know, like biologically, they're not bred to move like horses can. I mm-hmm. mean, yeah, cows are bovine, like roaming prey animals that, you know, right. live on prairies and things like that, but they're not going to move and listen like a horse would. So you'd just be working against yourself. Like it doesn't, mm-hmm. it wouldn't. It would it would be like I feel you. Yeah. It would just be practically ridiculous. Right, right. So, but see, you're saying like the cows have been bred, obviously, to not be ridden and more for, you know, it's meat and well, yeah, cream. I'm sure if somebody was super interested. <laughs> but but you know, before before it was a breeding thing, when they were just wild animals, yeah, you know, I, I'm assuming they probably would have been you could the humans kind of steered it in one direction or the other. Steer to the cow steered them. That's good. cow jokes too. <laughs> But yeah, I guess so. Like we just decided, horses we ride, yeah. Cows we, we eat. eat. <clears throat> I mean, well, yeah, you're... and people do eat horses too. I mean, the Mongols were famous for basically getting oh. their entire <laughs> life sub- sustenance from the horse. Oh, wow, interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, they would do everything from you know get thread for from the horse's hair um, to you know horse hide for their clothes. Um, to uh meat to eat and mm. everything else in between okay wow i think you but thoroughly yeah. answered my question yeah Thank that's you, you. yeah that makes a lot of you've sense you've done now. it yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> amazing Did exactly what but i wanted I'm, I'm wondering why you know if you ride a horse or a cow rather mm. you said it gets stressed get stressed just give it a calf massage <laughs> It's a good, you know, That's what, the it only is a reason good, I revisited it. I know, I know, but it is a good, it's that. a good cow joke. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent cow Thank joke, you. actually. Yeah. All right. I will give you guys each 10 whole dollars if you can tell me the difference between a heifer, a cow, a steer, and a bull. Oh, shit. <laughs> heifer, cow. Okay. A heifer. A heifer. Yeah. A heifer, Weissen. There was a, a show wise heifer. called and Cow a calf. and Chicken. Cow and chicken. Right, so that's not. You shouldn't let's start be with an easy one. Cartoon. Let's start with an easy one. What's a what's a calf? <laughs> a calf is obviously a baby, baby cow. cow. Easy. Yes. We know that's worth two bucks. I'll send you my Venmo two on d- Discord. Two decks. Um, a heifer would would it potentially be like a teenage cow? You're fishing, kind of. Yeah, and I like it. <laughs> a, a like kind a big of. one. Kind of. Heifer. A heifer. I want to look it up out of the corner of my eye, but I'm a better man than that. <laughs> You're a better man. So you said kind of, so that's, I'm not. Yes. Okay. So I'm cor- correct. Correct. Kind You're of. You're kind of correct. A heifer, a heifer is a female cow, is a female cattle teen who has not had a calf. Oh, I see. Oh, it's like a. So you'd call that an unproven, unproven. an unproven yep. animal. You gotta prove yourself because Heifer. again, the pur- the purpose is you know primarily if you're raising beef rather than dairy, the purpose is to produce. So, okay, so, so you don't it call it a they... cow until it's given birth. So yes, yeah, it's but not that's a what, cow. That's what a cow it becomes is then. A, and becomes wow. a mom. Yeah, wow, that's okay. so rude. Mama Can you imagine cow. saying you're not a real woman until you give birth? <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? And then you call your mother a cow? Yikes. Yeah. Yikes. You call her a heifer in the meantime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we need to change this, huh? Change the language a little bit, Jake. Hey, look, huh? I'm just breaking it down to you like how it's set up. 
Yeah. And then yeah, that's how the world works, world's baby. just that way. Just Nothing that we way. can do about Nothing, it. Nothing, no change here. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, uh, then yeah, you, obviously you, steer, steer. Virgin uh, let's, let's, That's man. really good. Out of all the causes we could do, let's <laughs> redefine the words we use for, for meat production. <laughs> it's important, man. They're it's paying attention. It's important. Right. Cows have self, self-esteem too, I think. Yeah. Maybe. Possibly. Cows are people too. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, all right. Uh, all right, steer. Steer, steer is a Virgin unproven male, male cow. cow. Bull. Bull is the unproven male cow. No, no, no. A steer, steer is, is a, a young is a, bull. Is a fixed is a fixed male. Oh, castra castrated. Castrated is a huh. steer. Yeah. Well, yeah. interesting that there's a separate word for that. A steer versus a bull. Bull's got the balls. Bull is ah. intact. Grab yeah. the bull by the balls, as they say. <laughs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> they say, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Because, you know, it's, it's useful, though. When you, <laughs> you. you might think about it. You might think about it as kind of an ambiguous <laughs> reference, like why a heifer and a calf and why a steer and a bull. But it's actually very useful when you're talking about um, herd production because okay. you need to know, like, hey, if I put this bull in with this head of cattle, like, first of all, is it related to any of them? Are uh, you know, are there are there heifers in here? Are there cows in here? Are there steers in here? Like, okay. are there other bulls in here that they're going to fight with? Because, again, they're not like us. Like, you put them into a pen together, and they'll just start like fighting until they establish oh. a pecking order, oh. and until you know, like their like their those... little their little society is sort of figured out. Wow. So it's it's really useful when you're talking about actually understanding like the nuances of, okay, this is a you know, this is, we want this bull to breed with this cow, or we're going to bring in a heifer and introduce it here, or wow. these are, you know, steers that are going to go to the butcher or what, or whatever. Um, mm, okay. There's all kinds of like useful rationales for that, but it does sound ambiguous at the, it, at the onset. It did raise an interesting question though. You uh, mentioned, you know, you, you, you don't more want cow them, questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay, is, yeah, yeah. is incest an issue? <laughs> Incest cow, oh, cow oh, yeah. incestual cows. Incest in the animal kingdom is absolutely an issue that you need wow. to be. Wow. Especially in animal production. You have to be very careful of that. Because yeah. they get yeah. like weird. Well, yeah, just like any other <laughs> just weird. like any, <laughs> do you get weird? Still getting weird, huh? Yeah. How do, do you they, measure yeah, who's like who's daddy? I know? bet they number them. You know what uh, your tags are for. Yeah. The tags. That's why when when you have a calf, you you tag it right yeah. away. I see. You know who's its mom. You know who its mom is, and then of oh, course, if you've done your, if you've done your, leading up to that right, then you should also know who its father is. I yeah. see. Gotcha. Wow, there you wow. go. And you can maintain. You can maintain good, good lineage and good stock. I see. Wow. Wow. Shame on them. Wow. Are there any animals that have self-respect and don't do that kind of thing? <laughs> yeah. Like chickens. Uh, there's probably <laughs> like chicken. no chickens. Are They're not just, they, there's nothing going chickens on. Chickens are like uh. one of the dirtiest animals. Chickens are one of the dirtiest, like do not give an F animals <laughs> in yeah. the whole I, of the animal kingdom. If you think pigs are bad, you think more than, yeah, chickens, more than pigs, huh? Chickens are right there next to them. They'll yeah. eat anything. They'll I've screw seen them eat anything. A mouse. Yeah. They fight all the time. The, the rooster's job is to basically do two things. Okay. Go around and make sure that there's no predators. Or other roosters, mm. and effectively, forcefully, mm. you know, do the yeah. deed with all the hens. Blanks and are filled. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and and so yeah, you have to be careful about what you feed chickens. We don't feed our chickens any chicken or egg nuggets of yeah. any kind, um, because I just don't think that that's like it's kind of weird, huh? It's mm. kind of weird. People, yeah. some people do it. Some people say, ah, it's fine. It's not for me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, chickens are not an exception. Maybe there's yeah. some, maybe chimpanzees or bonobos, you know, like these other high primates might have a bit more of a mm. like social structure. I don't know. We'd have mm-hmm. to ask uh, Jane Goodall that one. Well, we know, the line we know that crows Catherine? mourn their dead. Huh? Crows mourn their dead. Whoa. Yeah. Well, so do elephants and dolphins and yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like crows being and... small, very small brained yeah. creatures, you know, they're very intelligent. Wow. And they like they'll have like they'll all be there's video of this too of them like huddling around mm. a dead body of a crow, and Whoa, they're like and giving like it sticks and stuff and crying. Yeah, actually, wow. real tear crow tears. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Crow um, Tears. <laughs> it sounds like a, crow tears. It's like a really good yeah. metal band, dude. Crow, crow Tears. tears. <laughs> tears of the Crow. Tears of the Crow is good. <laughs> yeah, I like I it. I like that. We'll try that out. Um, um, yeah, but wow. Bigfoot bury their dead. Bigfoot do, too. Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big yeah. feet, well, I guess, is the plural. Big feet them. bury the dead. Yeah. They well, that's the thing. Yeah, I, I heard a genuine, passionate debate where he's yeah. like, well, why have we never found them? And he's like, duh, they bury their dead. Like... <laughs> They hold ceremonies and they bury them, so that we're not going to find dug them. up humans anywhere. Uh, right? Yeah, God. maybe they. Did we check <laughs> <Or> the feet? dinosaurs? <laughs> check the feet, man. You know, dinosaurs didn't exist because they were buried in the ground, man. No one's ever found them. Oh wait. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. No, it's. I don't know. It made me laugh. I was like, I just, I love the idea of them, like, just being beasts of the forest and then just like taking time to like dig a grave and say a prayer. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Lay yeah. it to yeah. rest. Yep. And, and then just and then run off again and like get out of there. Stomp around and throw well, branches. Yeah. Yeah. Humans, humans yeah. aren't really that much different than uh like the rest of the animal kingdom. We're just more so. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot our more emo- of us. Our emotions are more so. I mean I, I mean obviously like, you know, you think about a technology like this where, you know, we're communicating in this fashion and then we're posting it for other people to watch in a, in a, uh, that's crazy, but like, yeah, that that's sense. like way advanced, way advanced technology, but emotionally we're just like more so. And I don't think there's any like bright line where all of a sudden, you know, you cross it emotionally to have like a, uh, you know, a depth of emotional understanding. Yeah. I think it's just, it manifests itself increasingly the more yeah, intelligent right. species it's like our, our idea across. of consciousness is like you know it's mm, not yeah. necessarily like uh specific to human beings i, I right. highly doubt it yeah um yeah, yeah so squid are like really spectrum. intelligent yeah well really, squid really and uh an octopus yeah octopi octopi yeah octopi <laughs> very very intelligent sorry, <laughs> sorry octopi i had a is I that a really weird... how you say it do you really say octopi somebody does yeah yeah i, I think <laughs> i think that's it yeah, yeah. that's it you gotta say the <laughs> octopi i had a i had a really interesting i mean i was 16 at the time i was in physics or something in high school and the teacher asked a question and he said what is it that set man apart from the animal kingdom and i raised my hand thinking i knew what i was talking about and i said you know our prefrontal cortex Mm. right Mm -hmm. our thinking brain Right. right and he said no the fact that we can throw things and i thought no And these bad boys right here yep Thumbs, but monkeys yeah. have thumbs. And they bipedalism. Do. Yeah. But monkeys have thumbs. And bipedalism. True. Yeah. You know? And they're well, like, they're they're struggling, man. Yeah. Well, well they can throw, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean they're a little behind. Yeah. They got some yeah. catching up yeah. to do. Come on. <laughs> what are you what are y'all doing? They're making tools now though. They are. Yeah. I'm kind of talking out my butt because I saw an article in passing. They're making I don't... tools now. <laughs> yeah, they've just developed tools. <laughs> <laughs> they've developed their first country. Yeah. Like, right. No, but the, they they did discover like a bunch of little, very, very simple tools that monkeys have made. And yes. it's, well, yeah. it's, it's like open nuts and stuff. It's very cool. Like yeah, yeah I, do I think they've always they're... done that, probably. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, well, I don't yeah, know. I haven't been around the, that they long. Use There's the, like they built... use the grass to get into the ant hills. No, and they it wasn't like that. It was like to open things. And... It was like things put together to be a thing. Oh, yeah? It was like that. Not, okay. like, a, not, not like a rock. Okay. Like, oh, we hit a thing with a rock. <laughs> no, uh, genius. You're saying um, we, we might have like a like a monkey Steve Jobs in our midst, just inventing <laughs> things for the other monkeys? Like, you just this one monkey in a black turtleneck. The stick. Somewhere in the forest. <laughs> Introducing the stick rock. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> but it costs uh, cost 1,700 nuts. peanuts. Yeah, and they're just like, I can't afford peanuts. that. Ah. It's too much. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Something's well, got to catch up. That'd be fun, huh? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if we'd want that. <laughs> kind of fun though. If, th- one, if elephants you know, suddenly have thumbs, one of them has got to catch up to. You are like right thumbs? though. Like one of like when it, I'm waiting for the next animal, the yeah. next big animal. I'm bored. Like, okay, you, you, know know how, yeah. truly, you know how truly vicious the and maybe not vicious is in the right world because it, it implies evil, but a truly indis- indiscriminate the animal kingdom is. Yeah, like it's just it's completely indiscriminate. This I've had it, this conversation, it, Jake, with yeah. Adrian. She loves bears, and I say bears will eat you from the oh. stomach out. Yeah, right. Without caring at all. Yeah, no. And you want to hug they? them? They enjoy it. They just, right. they just. Oh, it's a noise that you're making. Uh-huh. That's fun. Let's yeah. continue. Yep. Yeah, maybe no this, thought. Yeah. 
And a lot of a lot of predators will go right for the jugular, right? Try that's to kill them spot. quick. Yeah, that's at least fr- like a bit more friendly. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah as friendly as well. They say that's where the saber tooth tigers. They say that's where the saber tooth tigers fangs yeah. came from. Oh yeah, okay. Lock it they, in, baby. They they could wrap around the neck of a primate or other right. animal and lock them in. It's always fascinating seeing prey get caught though, because they just go stiff. Mm-hmm. Would we do that? I I mean, yeah. Have you ever seen people? <laughs> no. Die? You ever oh, seen a people no. die? I mean, I've seen I've seen people die, guys. No, I I don't like watch it. You ever been on Reddit? Uh, yeah, there's some stuff there. I, I've tried like all through high school. There were all those videos of like, oh, did you see this yeah. one? Did you see this one? Like the Pain I, Olympics and stuff yeah. like that. I gotta say, I'm, I'm kind of a person that watches that stuff. <gasps> yeah, no, man. I, I am a little bit, a little bit <laughs> oh, of a person. Oh man, honestly, like maybe not like the death death videos, but like car accident videos. <gasps> I'll watch Oof. that stuff all day. Really? Like, I, you ha- I follow the this... Idiots in Cars no. subreddit. Getting coffee? And, but yeah, Idiots in Cars <laughs> getting co- dying from coffee. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the reason being, though, is more of a practical thing where it's like, honestly, like when I'm driving after watching, because uh, I've, I've been like following the subreddit for a couple of years now mm-hmm. and just watching these videos. Like I'm a lot more aware of certain situations that I'm in where I'm like looking out for stuff. Because I know yeah. that people can be stupid like wow. this. Like people yeah, can do this true. stuff. I guess that's true. Yeah. yeah. So you like you're like more aware of situations that I used could to happen. Do that when I rode that. motorcycles. Yeah. I used yeah, to watch I think motorcycle it's... accident videos, and that's it turned smart. me on yeah. to a lot of scenarios that I wouldn't have otherwise been aware of. Yeah, you can just... at least be prepared for some stuff, you yeah. know, that you yeah. otherwise wouldn't if you didn't watch it. So Man. that's but how I the... justify watching tragic <laughs> stuff for my pleasure. <laughs> no, I w- I went to the Museum of Death. Oh Wait, yeah, in Los Angeles. What is that? What is it? Sorry, Jake, did you have a question for Matt? Matt, I got to ask Matt a question about that. Okay. okay. Do you you actually derive pleasure from these videos? Because that's something we should talk about. I think I must (laughs) in some way. Maybe it's not pleasure. That's maybe a little too far. But like it's it's interesting to me to more of that. Because the thing is, like, I didn't realize I was benefiting from it when I first watched it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I uh, after driving and, and watching it simultaneously is when i realized that well not simon not, oh, not like, driving and watching the at the first same thing time. you shouldn't do <laughs> yeah, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. uh <laughs> i didn't learn my lesson there they don't have any of those um, wow but no so like yeah i guess how i got into it originally was not me going like hmm, well i could learn something you know mm-hmm. i'm assuming it it's probably there's just a fascination yeah, you know yeah. with that kind of i get that world i get that it's it's morbidly i'm morbidly morbid curious too curious. to a certain a degree morbid fascination well we'll yeah. check in with you on that every now and then <laughs> yeah just update yeah, updates or yeah we'll, we'll check deal in. is yeah quick update. yeah I w- but i went to the museum of death in los angeles okay. and i cannot stress this enough do not go do not go i thought it'd be like this is gonna sound insane i thought it'd be fun uh, I went with a person who was like very into that stuff, but it was like, oh, I want to see serial killer letters. Ooh. Like that's interesting. Mm, yeah. A letter that a serial killer sent from prison is like, what Why? goes on in their mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. You that go into room one, it's all that. It's like, whoa, this is like correspondence from crazy people. This is what you know, what were they thinking? Yeah. You go in the next room, and like the craziest thing is there's an uh, uh, a jumpsuit that someone wore in an electric chair during an execution. It's like, uh, that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of morbid. Yeah. That's um, tough. and then you go into the third room and good lord, it just goes off a cliff. It, the walls, it's a private collection. The walls are are covered in personal photographs that have been collected over the years of just dead. No. It's, Jake, it was awful. Why is this open it to the public? Like murders? Like, like crime everything. scenes? Like, I'll, I'll keep it very, I know, I'm sorry too. I'll <laughs> keep it very surface level. I, I walk into the room, I turn to my left, and there is someone holding a head. Oh. A couple people holding Ooh. a head. It's a collection of pictures of this head. It looked like a prop. I read the about it because I was like, what is going Not on? I was prop. in shock. And the about it was, it was yep, yeah, they took photos of this act and then they went to an, uh, an hour photo development place and the people looked at it and went, well, we're calling the cops. Yeah. And no then kidding. they went to prison for life, but they spent three days with this thing Dude, they, taking they photos. They took it to a place to get it developed? They didn't take, not the head. No, not okay, the, yeah, the pictures. Because it was already developed. Is what I, in okay. the womb much right. earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, a, with a body attached <laughs> exactly. to it, hopefully. Yeah, it started alive. Okay. Uh, but they took the photos <laughs> to okay. go get developed. Got, and yeah, that's right. when. Which is very stupid. Very stupid. Yeah. But I mean, so is what. Didn't they make a movie head. called yeah. One Hour Photo based on that? Honestly, genius. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But all of it was like that level of deplorable where it just made me feel sick. And we both looked at each other. We're like, 
yeah let's go that's so we we like get out of there it's corridors and corridors of just horrible stuff and we're just like blinders on trying to get out yeah and we go out the final door and it's this it's a movie i don't remember what it's called but it's on a projector screen and it's just videos of people dying and there is a popcorn machine uh, there's a whole series of those movies called Mm -hmm. uh what like encounters with death or something like that i don't know Uh, but it was like like heavy death metal and just yeah. montages Death. of people dying. It's a little on the nose. And there but, okay. was a, it was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Be creative. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but there was a silhouette of just two people just eating popcorn in front of the screen. And I was like, let's get, let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's go like eating let's, popcorn. Let's go to like too. Arby's or something. Ugh. So God. that's, uh, yeah. well, Arby's for okay, that. So that's, they also have the meat. Sauce, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Horsey sauce. That stuff never really appealed to me. Like Mm-mm. everything from that to horror movies. I like, well, yeah. I guess there could be a fascination with it, but at some point, you would probably <sighs> want to ask yourself, "Hey, yeah, what's going on here? Why am yeah. I doing this?" I feel you on that, yeah. Because you do get desensitized, like yeah, for the sure. The more right. you're exposed to it, the more you can handle it, and yeah, I don't know. I I, I never well, wanted to go on that, and that's not the same road. as like humane taking of life for the purpose of giving life, either. Well, Right. Mm-hmm. These are not the same things. You You're know, talking about human not, sacrifice, not taking, Jake? Hu- not taking human life. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? We need to feed animals. the sun god, Matt. <laughs> okay. we're, talking about am- we're talking about animals previously. Sorry, oh, that should have oh, contextualized. Oh, oh, it's about <laughs> animals. I'm not talking about, about, <laughs> not talking about like disconnect. Mayan blood sacrifices. <laughs> yeah. That, okay. Sorry. Okay. I, I mean, just, in the context of like, like hey, you're, you know, you're hunting for food. Mm. You know, or and or you're growing an animal, and then that animal's feeding you. Like mm-hmm. these yeah. are these are completely different things. There's a there's a there's a way that death can be death is part of life. You can't have mm-hmm. life without death, right? Mm-hmm. You can't have death without sure. life. Mm-hmm. They're they're part of the same thing. But there's a yeah. I just that to me is just so. I don't know. I, I just it never piqued my interest. I guess. Yeah, I totally get it. I mean, I I saw one video of an anaconda being like cut open because it ate a person oh I don't know yeah why i clicked on it oh, i don't I really know oh you saw it too yeah i saw it <laughs> he, it looks like a normal person <laughs> it looks like a normal person being pulled out and then he just turns to soup yeah and i i couldn't i couldn't get i still see it yeah it's really I was messed done. up yeah, I was yeah, done, yeah. man. Yep. And then I followed that subreddit. You too. did. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's what I, I mean though about the indiscriminate oh. nature of yeah. the animal mm-hmm. kingdom. It'll just, yeah. just put him down. Yeah. It's hardcore. Done. Real hardcore. Yeah, man. I don't play with that. But yeah, to your point, like killing an animal and I feel like if you it's something that I it's so hypocritical of me, and I know this, that I feel like I couldn't kill an animal, but I eat meat. And I think that's such a weird disconnect that I have Yeah. because I feel like the people who do that, who hunt and who store the meat, appreciate it more mm-hmm. and make it last longer and yeah, waste sure. less. Yeah. Um, so it's a real, true. it's a, it's a yeah. weird like ideology that I don't, I don't know where I picked it up or if it's just like a, well, it's just, uh, a, it's a familiarization thing. Yeah. It's, I just it's don't see where like, it's coming from. It's at the grocery store. I'm not, I'm, yeah. I'm full. I throw the rest yeah, away. Exactly. It's like, there's nothing, there's like that often gets ragged on. There's nothing really wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. Like people got stuff to do. They got lives to to live. They've got other important things of value that they're working on creating for other people Mm -hmm. that, you know, like that part of the cycle of their day to day just isn't something where that's going to be their focus because they're working on something else. And without them having the ability to do that and go work on something else you know, what things wouldn't we have now? So yeah. that's the way that I think about it. Um, but I, yeah, people often rag on that. And I, I don't think it's, it's as critical of a thing as people make it out to be. Yeah. Yeah. Do you hunt your own meat? That I was do. almost a sentence. I'm going to start that over. Damn. Do you hunt your own meat? <laughs> yeah. I, since I've moved out here, I've started to again. And we used to do that nice. in Minnesota when I grew up and mm-hmm. I got back into Mostly white-tailed deer. There's also mm. axis deer and other and other animals out here. But yeah, it's yeah. good meat, yeah. and they're overpopulated. So yeah, well there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to try like that fresh wild game meat. Yeah, it can be good. Yeah, yeah. and there's a there's a, um if you take it to the right processor, like you know, oftentimes like we took a bunch of ours and we did um, fajita meat with it and uh, hamburgers Ooh. where they mixed in like seasoning and ham and all these other things that and sounds super good it's really good it's really would good. it survive the drive from texas to los angeles 
Mm, you see where I'm yeah, going with this, right? If I, <laughs> you want to give us some yeah, of that deer meat? Actually, next time I drive meat? out, next time I drive out, I'll bring yes. some. Let's get oh that my deer gosh, meat. Yeah. that's a meeting for the ages. Yeah, and that's I have quite some, a meeting. I have some moose that my friend gave me, and I have oh, some wow. buffalo as well. And some elk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring some KBBQ. Yeah, that KBBQ Dude, I have, experience. I have um, I have a KBBQ. Yeah, thing. I know. Actually, so I could bring it to the studio, Ooh. and we could cook it up right on the spot. Cook it up right on the spot. Yep. Are we doing this meeting of the ages? I, yeah. Let's. Oh, do it. we're yeah. doing this. Next Let's time do I drive. Next time I drive Come out, on. I'll bring. I'll bring a freezer with. Or That's right. Oh my yeah. gosh. This and we can feel less bad about everybody. it because we know where it comes from. Exactly. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there was one time where I did have uh, like, I guess, wild meat. It was jerky yeah. uh, and mm -hmm. it was deer, deer jerky, I think, or something okay. like that yeah. at a friend's yeah. house. Uh -huh. And I ate it. I was like, this is so good. And she's like, oh, I'm so glad you like it. Would you like to meet him? I'm like, what? what? And she walks me into her living room and he's on the wall. <laughs> and I just, him. I'm not joking. <laughs> I was, him. I was maybe 15 or 16. He's I was dead. a very soft spirit. And she goes into the next room and I swear I walked up to it. I was, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just the two of us. So I just needed him to know, like, I didn't know you were there. Like oh, that's so right. uncomfortable. Meet him. Right. That's yeah. messed up. Meet him. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I thought you were about to say it was like alive but it had cuts like sections of it. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. They're still processing. Is harvesting? Yeah, still yeah. harvesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man. Wow, this is well, though. this was uh this was an interesting one, boys. It was. <laughs> How do we title this one? Yeah. We got yeah. Into, into everything from Hulk's underwear yep. to yeah. you know it, Airstrips in New Jersey to <laughs> cows and uh, it went wild everywhere, game. dude. And yeah, museums Tremendous. of death. So I feel like this was really well rounded. Yeah, yeah. Um, something for everybody. And I just want to thank you guys once again yeah. for oh, just you know, man. Thank you, Jake. What a joy! And it was thank our you, pleasure. Thank, thank you for your cow facts. Yeah, it's very hey, important. Anytime. Yeah. Show, me <laughs> Show me That's the cow facts. That's a car facts joke from the commercial. It is, dude, remember? What if we started a website that gave you all the like? Test results and genetics on cows. Ooh, 23 and me. This yeah. is yeah. Tw yeah. It's 23 and me for cows for breeders. That's and you a start huge a huge business. And it's called Cowfax. Cowfax. 23 and moo. You start it and then we'll catch up. And then yeah, <laughs> the associated website will be called 23 and moo. 23 and moo. Did you say that? I, I said it too. But yeah. he said it louder. So Jake. He said it louder. Matt Genius. said it. Matt said I, it. But you I, said it louder. We, it doesn't matter. It was a collaboration. History will forget. <laughs> it was a collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 23 and moo. I want a percentage of the profits. Wow. It's <laughs> based on the title. Yeah, play us out. Just uh, uh, mosey on out. It's trying to also do a cow thing. I like that it's it always really quiet for us, so we just kind of have to. It's almost silent. We just stare. It's at each almost other. Just, guys. It's almost silent. Just stare at each here. other. <laughs> We're just basically it's talking. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll Thank see you, you guys. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>